We have uh, something of a breaking news story, a story we dealt with in the last hour. The acting secretary of the Navy has indeed offered his resignation after the public criticism uh, of the relieved captain of the USS Theodore Roosevelt. With us again from Washington, our NBC News national security and Pentagon correspondent, Courtney Kuby. And Courtney, here we are. Yeah, so I was dancing around this a little a little bit last hour, Brian, because we didn't quite have the sourcing on it yet. But we had been hearing that uh, the acting secretary, Thomas Modley, he spoke uh, one on one with Secretary of Defense Mark Esper this morning, uh, right when he got back from Guam, a long trip to Guam, and he offered to resign. The big question, what we don't have an answer to yet, is what was Secretary Esper's response? Normally, we would say, look, in a case like this where there has just been so much back and forth and, and frankly, bad media and bad coverage of this entire story, you would think that the Secretary of Defense would just accept the resignation and everyone could move on. But there's two critical factors here that give us a little pause and in in, in why we aren't really sure what's happening quite yet. The first is President Trump got involved late yesterday. He was asked about it by our own Kristen Welker about this whole this whole situation and said that he might get involved and try to mediate some sort of a, of a resolution here. Uh, the second is just the, the fact that uh, everything about this has been so public. What has not been really public is the fact that there's no real automatic successor to acting Secretary Modley. So who would move in and step in at a time where the Navy really needs a lot of leadership? They've had a rough couple of days. There are a lot of sailors who are asking questions about their leadership, and they need to show some sort of a strong and united front right now. We don't know who could possibly even step in to replace Secretary Modley if, in fact, Esper accept his resignation, Brian. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.